morning, guys. It is Monday morning, our first day back at work in almost two weeks. Although it feels, it feels like, ooh, what is going on with my hair? It feels much, much longer that we've been off. But yeah, Monday morning. I had great plans to get up like really early. Well, I should specify really early for me for like seven o'clock. And I did wake at seven. But I'm just not a morning person at all. And I tried to get up, but I just genuinely couldn't. And so I actually got up two hours later at nine which is kind of a little bit annoying um, because I had sort of all these great plans of getting up early and, you know, starting things early and stuff. But I suppose I think I just have to resign myself to the fact that I'm not an early morning person at all at all. I also ran out of foundation and concealer today. Why does that always happen on the same day? It's very annoying. So yeah, hence the makeuplessness. I have no meetings outside or no Skypes, so it's fine. But yeah, you guys are probably used to seeing me without makeup now anyway, so no biggie, I suppose. So this morning for breakfast, we are going to be having porridge, starting our healthy eating. I'm kind of looking forward to that. I feel like my body is overloaded with like rich gluttonous foods at the moment. I'm also going to go wheat free. I think I mentioned before I am wheat intolerant. I can get away with eating an amount of wheat before it has an effect on me but over Christmas I just basically ate whatever I wanted. Um, but yeah I can really feel the effects on my body as well so yeah I'm going to go wheat free too. So yeah this is what we're at. I'm still kind of half asleep as I'm sure you can tell. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get to it, I think. I am unbelievably terrible at keeping New Year's resolutions. So I found last year's New Year's resolutions. And I had a total of 15 of them. And would you like to know how many I achieved? In fact, I achieved none. I started a few, and some became, um unachievable or unrealistic for various reasons but basically I had very lofty ideas <laughs> this time last year and uh, my 15 goals for 2015 so this is a year ago my first one was to give blood and bone marrow at least once a month now that turned to be out to be slightly unrealistic and kind of impossible for me um for various reasons due to medication and surgery and all that kind of thing it just wasn't possible it is something I would like to do in the future at some point when I'm in a position to be able to do so so hasn't exactly gone away but it didn't happen at all last year I also wanted to learn uh, to hold a basic conversation in Italian which beyond being able to count very little and say hello and goodbye and a few other very brief words didn't happen at all. My third was to begin flying lessons, which, yeah, unless you count the planes I took, didn't happen. Then it was to record a YouTube episode every day in January and twice a week thereafter. So this one didn't exactly happen the way it was supposed to, but I suppose it did happen in the end. Um, then it was to walk for at least 25 minutes a day, six days a week. That I definitely started, uh, but did not continue throughout the whole year. Um, the next was to throw a dinner party once a month and cook from scratch and to write a book around this. So this is a book I have been working on for a couple of years now. And this is something, well, it didn't happen every month. It did happen some months. Um, so I am writing a book called starlight suppers and basically it's kind of like a how-to dinner party from cooking to invitations to decorations all that kind of um good stuff and uh, it's still a work in progress and 
hopefully, because I haven't done my goals for this year, even though when I do do them, I'm not so great with them, but hopefully it is something that I might finish this year. The second was to send a handwritten card at least once a week. I didn't send one once a week, but I did send way more than um, I would normally do. I just think it's a really nice thing to receive a handwritten card, like a thank you card, a birthday, whatever, just a just because card in the post. I think it's really um, sweet. Uh, I love to receive them. Not that I do. So if you want to send me a handwritten card, please do. I really love them. Um, and the next thing was to become more involved in my local community. Uh, unfortunately, this really didn't happen at all. And uh, for a variety of reasons, one, because I was ill and then had surgery and then became incredibly busy, which made it more difficult. Um, but it is still something I would like to do. The next thing was to lose two and a half stone by June 24th, which is my birthday. Um didn't happen. I did lose some weight, but not two and a half stone. Um, so that's an ongoing one. The next was to clear and organize our attic by the end of June. Uh, we have started this, and I suppose in that whole vein of clearing out and organizing, um, I began something that's called the Conmarie method. It's a method of, um, I suppose, decluttering and organizing devised by Marie Kondo, who is a Japanese professional organizer, and she's written a book on it. I actually, on my other channel, A Style of Living, um, you can actually follow um, all of the areas that we've already conmarie I will throw a link down to that kind of playlist for those of you who are interested. Great thing to start this time of year. And it's something that's ongoing. The process takes a while um, when you watch some of the videos and see uh, what I've been doing and so on and so forth, you'll realize why. So that is ongoing, as is our attic. Uh, it's an ongoing process. The The process that you use to declutter using the Conmarie method, um, it's not based on areas of your home, hence why the attic is ongoing as opposed to done. The next one was to do something brand new at least once a, m once a month. And I think I did pretty much, yeah, maybe not every single month, but we'll say like maybe like nine or 10 out of the 12 months we did do something new. Wear a different outfit every day. Well, no, unfortunately that didn't happen um, at all. But I did wear clothes every day, so that's, that's kind of there. I also wanted to take part in a photo challenge, which unfortunately I did not do. I actually forgot about that one completely. And the final one for 2015 that I wanted to achieve was to be able to touch my toes by next Christmas. Unfortunately, this was another one that was totally and utterly forgotten. Um, so, yeah, that is definitely something to think about. Because I realize over the years that I'm so bad at resolutions and goals or whatever you want to call them, I'm having a serious think this year about what it is I'm going to set and what it is I want to do. So I haven't set them yet and I realize it's the 4th of January. But for me, because today is like the first day back in work, it's kind of the first, not really, but you know what I mean. It's the first working day. Well, I don't know why I did that because obviously I don't kind of work, I actually do work. Um, so yeah, I'm rambling totally here. When I do set my 2016 goals, if I set them or whatever I plan on or hope to achieve, I will let you know. We did do a little bit of work this morning, myself and James, setting kind of like um, company goals for 2016 and what we hope to do and achieve, um, at least to start those. It'll be kind of probably be an ongoing process for the, the week of what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. And similarly for ourselves or personally as well. We've started on like some of this stuff or we know some of the stuff, but we just haven't done it all yet. But it was interesting. I had forgotten I had typed them up and printed them out and put them in my daily planner. Um, and I think I largely just forgot about them. And I think that's kind of like one of the things I know when it comes to me and goal setting is that I 
set goals, but unless I actually break them down sort of into a plan and put that plan, you know, sort of like into a diary or my planner, they don't really happen or I forget about them, as does everybody, I'm sure. So that's why I want to have a proper think about stuff this year. And it's also why we I've been kind of rearranging the house a little bit to kind of better, I suppose, like my work-life balance at the moment. Because we work from home and we live in the home, it's we don't have the best work-life balance. And I know that probably sounds odd to people who who maybe work in like an office or a shop or, you know, outside of their home. And they're probably thinking, well, I don't have a work-life balance and I'd have an amazing one if I worked from home, which is not actually the case at all. Um, So yeah, it is something, I suppose that's a big goal that I'm working on right now is to have a better work-life balance and, you know, do kind of more things that I want to do that aren't necessarily work-related. So I'm working on that, and once I know for sure what that's going to be, I am going to share that with you. And for those of you who are also struggling at the start of the year with, you know, what do you want to do? And for me, I always felt like that if you didn't have your goals or your resolutions for the 1st of January, that, you know, it kind of passed you by and that was it and it was over. You know, like the start, the fresh start was over. But I'm learning that's not the case, that in fact, January itself as a month is a great month to sort of like reevaluate situations, reevaluate what you want to do and sort of set a plan for the year that you don't necessarily have to have the plan set on the 1st of January um, to make a start. Obviously, if you do, fantastic, that is great. But... Some of us take a little bit longer or need a little bit longer to kind of set those wheels in motion and get things kind of like up and running and such. So I'm learning that I am one of those people, which is a little bit frustrating because I'm also a person who likes kind of like instant gratification and for everything to start immediately and to be done immediately. So it's allowing myself that bit of time as well. But yeah, so didn't do so great on the 2015 goals, started many of them, and some of them just were not realistic for the time, and others, yeah, just didn't happen. How did you do with your New Year's resolutions last year? Let me know in the comments below, and have you set any big goals for this year, and what are you doing to hopefully achieve those goals? I'd love to know if you have any tips or advice. So today we are going on a walk. Yes. Because, well, one, we're a bit tired. Yeah. And we feel like doing any more exercise will probably be a little bit too much for us. Yeah, well, especially with the first day back at work as well. Exactly. And we're just wanting to get it out of the way so that we have a clear on the evening. And I suppose one thing that maybe we should do today is time the walk that we're going to go on. So that in the future, because it, it's very likely we'll go on this walk multiple times, that we, like, improve on our time. Yeah. Okay, that's Let's what we that. will do. So we are just back in from our walk. And we did about, what's it, about three Four. and a half kilometers. Uh, James will tell us precisely six, now. Six, Oh, I see. So it took us about 43 minutes. About that, yeah. And we weren't, like, we were not walking fast at all. In fact... Four kilometres. Okay, so it's about four kilometres. It took us about 43 or so minutes. Um, We weren't walking fast at all. We were just kind of, like, leisurely walking. Yeah. Um, And so, so for those of you who are wondering what we're doing and stuff for fituary that's what we that's what we did today food wise so far we had porridge for dinner or for dinner for breakfast and we had some chicken wings for lunch mostly because we had actually cooked them the other day and we had to eat them because they were cooked and we are actually having tacos for dinner and we know that's not exactly super healthy 
or anything like that. But we haven't gone grocery shopping and we're both pretty exhausted mm. and we still have to do our meal plan for the month. So, and our grocery shopping. So, that's kind of more needs must. But we've been drinking, well, I've been drinking more water and peppermint tea and stuff to flush yeah. out my system. Um, the one thing I have noticed though is I am starving all of the time. Yeah. And I know that's mostly because of the excess of eating and the all the time eating like over the Christmas and stuff. But it is half, it's 25 to 4 now and I'm starving. Like I could have my dinner now. Except I have a phone consultation. Oops, thumb in the way. Phone consultation in a few minutes, hence why we were doing our walk um, much earlier than normal. But yeah, how do you feel, darling? Well, I'm going to take your... I haven't drank any water yet today. I've been drinking tea. Mm. Now, tea without That's sugar. Still, that still counts as water, though. Okay. But, um, so I haven't actually been taking much water, so this is going to be my first pint of water. Well, mini pint. Mini pint of water. 